Hey everyone, Kyle here. Today I'm going to be doing another sketchbook tour, this time on book four, which is from July 21st to March 10th, um, 2017 to 2018. And yeah, let's take a look. So in this sketchbook, I thought I'd be doing a lot more pen drawing. Pen drawing is something that I wanted to get into. Turns out that I didn't end up sticking with it for very long, but it's still something that I'd like to get back to at some point. A lot of these drawings, if you see like a single person like this, it probably means that I'm drawing from Pinterest or something. The rest of these are probably from coffee shops. I don't know why this one looks so stylized and I hate this face. I, it's one of the rare times when I tried to wipe out what I had drawn. I used like white ink, but it didn't really cover very well. The majority of this stuff is going to be from coffee shops though. And I'm going to go kind of quickly through these. Uh, this is a 250 page sketchbook. So if I talk about each page, it's going to take forever. So this is actually from one of my other videos. This is when I first got to the Kim Jong-gi uh, workshop that I went to in July. So these are all my notes. If you want to see me talk about these notes, you can go watch my Kim Jong-gi workshop video. I'll try to make sure I link that at the end of this one. This, this was a great workshop. I'm really, really happy that I went to it. All right, so back to coffee shops again. So I think this is about when I started going to the top floor of the coffee shop. Um, Previously, I had been going to the bottom floor where you are like more over here looking this way and There's a second floor and I started going up there just to get some like alternate per perspective stuff going on And it's funny like even looking at these drawings a lot of them I feel like I could do a lot better now and this wasn't even all that long ago Um this was drawn outside of the sketchbook. You can see I glued it in. Uh, that's going to be a t-shirt at some point. I think it's Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop. Some hands. If there's like no one in the coffee shop and I don't know what to draw off and start to draw hands. <laughs> Little section of pen going back to pencil almost immediately after that. I got, after the Kim Jong-gi thing, I started getting into drawing skeletons for some reason. This must have been on a weekend. I recognize this guy. One of the reasons I don't like drawing in pen is probably because of the pen that I have. Whenever I draw with it, I end up smudging, which is really annoying. This seems like another weekend one. You see if I skip a day in my sketchbook, I draw on my iPad instead, so I usually make a note just so I know. I think here is when I switch to HB lead. I was using 4H previously, so these should be darker from here on. Yeah. This was at a Starbucks. I remember drawing this guy several times. <laughs> he was just like staring out the window with his mouth open.
These are both done in one day. I think this is the Sunday of that same weekend. I think this is at Blue Bottle. I like stuff like this where you can tell the weight distribution. Sure. Which would you prefer right now? <laughs> to Borac and Hip Hop. Stop. That's a featured guest. Amazon Echo. <laughs> scared me. <laughs> I don't know what it thought I said. Anyway. Got with a little penny board. She works at the coffee shop that I go to most days. Recognize her. And over the course of this, I started drawing more and more from memory. Uh, a lot of times if someone would leave the coffee shop after I started drawing them, I'd either erase it or just kind of make it much more simplified. Something I started doing during the sketchbook is making up the rest of the pose or using what I remembered from their outfit to start like a new pose that they hadn't used. This one's really rough, but I like the pose. I think you can tell what's happening with it. These feel a lot more scratchy than my current ones looking through my fifth sketchbook earlier. So I feel like I'm definitely improving. Whenever you see like a, a drastic change like that, that's usually on Pinterest. This one really bugs me. I didn't get the perspective of his head right. So it looks really, really weird. It just looks like his head's been squished vertically. Trying pen again. You can see whenever I go back to pen, it's super smudgy. I think the pen I have just doesn't dry quick enough. I do like this one though. I think that came out pretty well. More pen. I guess I did a little bit more pen than I thought. Hands again. Hands again. Uh, these are from a figure drawing session. So these are one minute poses. Two minute. Five minute. minute. This model was really good. There's just so many smudges. I think I just like for whatever reason I abandoned the pen. I think I was getting annoyed by how many smudges. Richard Aldana from Last Man. Back to pen. I think I figured I'd learn how to not smudge things if I just kept at it. That never happened. I was trying to copy an 
artist on Instagram that goes by New Milky. It doesn't look like their work. <laughs> I think this was from an All Hands at Work. Yeah. There was like a masquerade, so they put masks on everyone's chair. For some reason, that guy put his on, and it was on top of his ears. I thought that was weird. I think these are from Pinterest, and these are from the coffee shop. I think these are actually from sitting on the train, which I don't do very rarely, or I do very rarely, don't do very often. I don't know why I drew his dingus. <laughs> this is from Pinterest again. This is from Blue Bottle. I remember that guy. Oh, this is the first time I saw an iPhone 10 in public. <laughs> this is from Starbucks. I like this one. This one I was trying to draw people like as they came in and left, but standing where they had been standing within the store. So trying to create perspective from individual time periods of drawing, if that makes sense. It was kind of hard to do, but I think this came out fairly well. Made the second row really small, though. I drew that so big. Here, I don't, I added like fake talk bubbles Imagine they were talking about iced coffee versus hot coffee. I like this one. Looks like natural, not very stiff. I always like to draw bigger people if they're around. I think it's fun. I remember this guy was trying to add milk to his coffee and then it was empty and he had to complain. Only at page 150, still got a lot to go. <laughs> Hope this video is not like an hour long. So this is day 700, December 1st. skulls these were drawn from memory during a slow morning at the coffee shop that I go to before work this is the the first and only time that I tried this but inspired by the Kim Jong Gi uh, workshop that I had shown a while ago I started trying to Rotate people in 3D space. I think that's still something that I should go back and start doing more. But this is my first time doing it. I'm going to take this out of here. I put a little hard drive underneath this just so the first pages weren't like going away. I 
looking at musculature. I remember liking her outfit. I think she's wearing like a red dress and then like a tan jacket or something, white jacket. Someone from Instagram. This, I think, this guy's name is, yeah, Dave Malart. Uh, I copied a couple of his things. These are not nearly as good. And then I tried, like, doing my own, failed. I think I posted this one on Instagram, but I did a like a made up comic using people in the coffee shop. I don't know why this one I was like, I just want to draw a whole bunch of people this morning. So I did a lot of small, not very detailed drawings. This is a copy of an Ilya Kuvshinov. This guy like wasn't even looking at his screen. He was just kind of like holding his phone and zoning out. Base on this one looks wonky, which it is. So these are more Ilya Kuvshinov copies. Uh, this is a copy of Eliza Ivanova. She's amazing. This was in like a mall food court, I remember. Not somewhere I normally draw. I think there was like a busy schedule that day and I couldn't draw in the morning, so I ended up having to do it that night. This is that same photo that Dave Mal had drawn. It's a, uh, she goes by Lala on Instagram, but she was in Tara's house. I think these are all from Pinterest. This is a mix of real stuff and Pinterest stuff. This is another one on the train. You can tell because it's very rushed looking. This is another Elisa copy. This was at a sketch Tuesday at work. Oh, I thought I had not done this anymore. Uh, 3D rotation attempts. This was drawn in a super duper burger on the second floor. Pinterest again. I think Pinterest, this is from Persona 5. Actually, I think that was from, uh, I think it was from a picture of a figure, and then I, like, removed all the figure joints. I never finished it, though. Another longer one. I got, like, a bread delivery. They... I go pretty early in the morning, and usually if I go to this one coffee shop, they get a bread delivery, so just like 
chronicling that. I remember I made this guy like really uncomfortable and he actually like moved seats after I had drawn him. I felt bad about it. More hands. Is that? That might have been the one that was in my drawing hands video. Some more figure drawing. I think this one is from not real life but uh, what's the channel's name croaky cafe i think this one's croaky cafe pinterest again this one i don't know what the fuck happened but it looks terrible i tried fixing it and like a second line without erasing Still looks bad. I hate that one. <laughs> it was really bad. So here I tried to go back to pen and I immediately smudged the hell out of it and then decided this was before uh, like I had left a blank space on this page and I filled it in before figure drawing and I was like, oh, I'll just like go over it in pen and immediately messed it up. So I was planning on if this went well going with pen during figure drawing again which it did not, so I didn't. I tried going over stuff that I had already drawn during breaks in pen, I think here. And then I, that gave me confidence. So I tried in pen and just smudged everything and then went back to pencil. <laughs> This is getting to the end. This is pretty close. Yeah, this is it. So that is book four. Um, these removed pages were probably used as when I'm drawing pencil, I put like a page in between. And if I lose that page, I'll tear another one out. So went up to page 240, but that's book four. Hopefully that was interesting for you. I'm already working in book five right now. So hopefully... I'll have another video to record pretty soon. I'm using a different type of sketchbook now. I'm using a Baron Fig sketchbook, which have a lot less pages. I think it's closer to 200, so like 50 less. Um, but when I'm done with that, I'll have a walkthrough of book five. Thanks for watching, and I'll make another video soon.